Turning now to some other news, at least a dozen people have died after their boat capsized while crossing the English Channel. The French Coast Guard says more than 50 others were rescued, though most of the victims are believed to be women and girls. The UN says at least 30 migrants have died or gone missing while trying to cross to the UK this year. And on the line, we have DW's correspondent, Terry Schultz, uh, joining us from the French side of the English Channel for the very latest. Terry, can you explain for us what has happened here and what the situation looks like right now? Hi, Claire. Yes, uh, what we saw today here uh, uh, off the coast of the north of France constitutes the worst loss of life in terms of attempts to cross the channel so far this year. As you mentioned, at least a dozen people, including a pregnant woman and and, uh, several children, lost their lives when the dinghy in which they and more than 50 other people basically disintegrated in the water early this morning. There were helicopters and multiple vessels called out to try to save their lives. And as you said, more than 50 people's lives were saved. Uh, They were brought here to the French side of the channel and those with the most grievous injuries were taken to hospital. Uh, We don't have any update on their condition, but suffice us to say that some of them were very seriously wounded. And you know, there have been more than 20,000 successful crossings by people taking this illegal route. And that's why uh, people like this continue trying to make this treacherous journey. Well, Terry, what needs to happen? What needs to be done to prevent future terrible disasters like this one we've just seen? Well, there's a lot of responsibility or blame to go around. Of course, uh, you have these criminals who are taking enormous sums of money from very desperate people, putting them in unseaworthy vessels, and of course, just basically setting them off with with their lives at stake. That's what causes these tragedies uh, on its face. But then you have the countries of origin where people are leaving in droves, willing to make these very desperate journeys, knowing that there are very good odds that they won't make it. Uh, So more needs to be done in the countries of origin so that people don't try to leave. And then when tragedies like this happen, you even have the governments of Britain and France blaming each other for not doing enough uh, to keep people on their side of the border or in France blaming Britain to basically have working conditions that entice people to try to get there. So there's a lot of blame, a lot of responsibility to go around for this very sad situation. Now, there have been calls for a migration treaty between the European Union and the UK. How might that potentially change things? Well, there are agreements between the EU and the UK and between France and the UK. Um, The latest agreement between France and Britain, for example, involved uh, Britain sending more money to France to increase the number of patrols and uh, detention centers on the French side of the border. Uh, in In the agreement between the EU and the UK, they've agreed to share more intelligence uh, to try to stop the the criminal enterprises that are luring people to do this, but nothing has worked. I'm not sure that something called a treaty would be better than these agreements. But uh, what France is saying today is that it needs more money from the UK if it wants to help them effectively stop people from leaving the French side of the border as as, uh, caused the tragedy today, Claire. Terry, thank you so much, as always, for your reporting. That is DW's correspondent, Terry Schultz.